What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And in this week's episode of Tool Tuesday, we continue through Third Eye. So what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's been going all right. Today we're gonna continue digging through a third eye a little bit. All right, we are in a drop D tuning, just continuation of last time. And if you guys wanna follow along for the tabs, you can find them on my Instagram, at Xcreation, or you can find down below in the description, you can find a link for a PDF or Guitar Pro. All right, so let's get started. So we picked up where we, st we, picked up where we left off last time, and that was the, the kind of the verse. <laughs> that little section right there. So we're gonna build up from there and then essentially the bass just plays these open chords. And it's gonna be these four passes and the rhythmical hits um, are different for each one, right? So we're gonna continue our, our three feel, right? We still wanna feel that kind of feel. So we have this one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Right? So every kind of dead note fill is going to be on the it's going to be on the two of the third beat so you're going to go one two three one two three one fill hopefully that makes sense okay so we're going to hit this big open d chord and we can play power chord fifth position five seven seven with a low d all right one two three one two three one and then we have some dead notes and the first one's kind of simple you can think about it as four and three kind of hits like that all right, um, it's really buried in the mix. So if your hits aren't exactly this, or you like to play something different, that's cool. As long as you're in time, it, it, it'll be all right. Okay, so the first one is. All right, second one's pretty straightforward. Like that, all right, third one. All right. Okay, you have a little. Right? Okay? And then the last one is just one, two, three. Okay? And so now we're gonna go into a more halftime feel. The tempo is gonna remain the same, but the feel kind of changes into this really low section where the guitar does a little guitar solo melody thing, all right? And the bass is gonna play the same riff over and over again with just one little variation, okay? So our rhythm is here. Okay, so. And then you're gonna hit 10, right? Bum, 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 bum. And you're gonna pick out this little diagonal chord, 10, 11, 12. Okay, nice little dissonant chord there. And that's the riff, okay? And then you're gonna have a fill on the fourth, because if you think about the phrases, four, right? You're gonna do that four times. On that fourth time, you're gonna have a little fill. And that little fill is the descending line, 10, 9, 7, 5. Okay, and so you're gonna go through this, I believe it's like eight times in total. I could be mistaken there. And for the record, I'm listening to the live version of this song because you can hear the bass a little bit better off the live track that they released. Um, so I, you can just hear it better, okay? So I would listen to that one, all right? So we're gonna, just do, we're gonna go through that, and I believe it's eight times because you play it open and then he plays it when the guitar melody starts on the 12th fret. Okay, that's the main difference between the two. And then to get out of it, you get this nice aggressive riff coming out of it, which is a lot of fun to play. And you're gonna basically play the same hammer-on fill here. That in two different positions. So you have this three five, three on the A, five three five, right? simple enough, right? So you're going to do it in third position, in tenth position, and back to third position. And you're going to keep that same, that same ba ba ba, but just now double time feel. And then you have a little fill there. 
I like to do that. Open 7735. Right? And there you go. There's most, well, I won't say most, but there's a good portion of third eye. And then after that, it leads into, the, into like a more ambient section where you're holding out octaves and whammy slides and all that fun stuff. All right, so we'll probably dig into that again moving forward. But like I said, find me on Instagram at Execration. And you can find the, the tabs for this. And down in the description below, you can find a PDF or Guitar Pro. And as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.